Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Taskin and welcome to part 2 of my extrusion, twisting and tapering exercise. In this part we will create the curtain panel pattern base family for our tower design. Let's take a closer look at the curtain panel system itself. The system based on a larger square that holds four little squares that is diagonally located. Now let's go back to Revit and start creating our pattern. First I will be placing four points onto each one of those reference lines. Select the points and create a parametric value called T value for the position of those points. I'll place it under instance and dimensions. Now the next thing is joining these points by reference lines and make sure you turn on your 3D snapping. So secondly placing points in the midpoint of each one of those reference lines and then joining these points by reference lines. Lastly I will place a point on one of these reference lines select the point, select hoist by point by intersection tool and moving to the intersection. Now I have a point that is hosted in the intersection of those two reference lines. Now I select the reference lines and hide the category and create my model lines by joining the points for them to be appear in the project environment. So this is the perimeter of my diagonal square and I'll just put the diagonal members of that square in as well and next thing I'll be tracing the perimeter of the larger square by joining the points. Now lastly I will need a visibility perimeter to control these line segments so first by using my tab key I will select the smaller line segments and then going to the visibility control and adding a visibility control value I'll call it small for the small segments place it under instance and constraints and in reverse I will be doing the same for the larger segments by using the tab key again going to the visibility control and create myself a new parameter called large and place it under constraints as an instance now going to the family types and using conditional formula to control the visibility of these lines within the project environment. So I will just say if T value if it's less than 0.5 it's small so I'll copy that to large field and say if T value is larger than 0.5 is large I'll turn that value to to be exactly quarter 0.25 make sure they're all working and now I have created my first basic current panel pattern base family. Next step I will start another pattern base family. Go back to my original family that I've just created, putting that into the new family. I'll just select four reference lines, create a form as a surface, select the surface, divide surface into UV grids and I'll make sure that's a fixed number of two in each direction. Select the surface and select the rectangle family and pick the pattern that's been placed earlier on. So selecting by individually this pattern and turning that to a 0.75 value and selecting the next pattern and turning that into 0.75 value and there you are as you could see 
we have created our basic basic pattern so let's load that into the um, the project or the tower conceptual massing file and I guess for the purpose of exercise I'll just pick two surfaces only just pick those two surfaces and divide these surfaces and apply a rectangle pattern I'll just say uh, U grids is 40 and V grids is 2 so as you can see now reselect these these surfaces and apply the family we've just created and wait for the generation of this family hopefully it's not going to take too long for me to pause this exercise I'm just running a, a quad core machine here with um, 12 gig RAM so it's it, it is a reasonable reasonably powered machine and voila there you are that is our tower with the pattern applied to it and thanks for joining me with this video